Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We have always been discussing different topics of forensic sciences, but today we will discuss forensic sciences. In this video, we will try to clear out all your doubts and questions regarding forensic sciences. This video will be presented by Anushka Mukherjee, a member of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. So, let's start. Index About CIPE Analysis Divisions Why should one choose forensic science? Futures Universities About Forensic science is an important component of the criminal justice system. Forensic scientists study and analyze evidence from crime scenes and other locations to produce objective results that can aid in the investigation and prosecution of criminal criminals or clear an innocent person of suspicion. Forensic science is mostly a laboratory-based career. Forensic science is an interdisciplinary discipline that includes chemistry, biology, physics, geology, psychology, social science, engineering, and so on. CIPE Analysis The full form of CIPE is collection, identification, preservation, and examination. These four are the main four pillars on which forensic science stands. Let's know about them a little bit. Collection It means the methods of collection of evidence at a crime scene. At a crime scene, when the investigators find any evidence, they collect it and send it to the laboratory for further testing. Before collection of any evidence, the investigators wear gloves so that the evidence does not get contaminated. But there are methods for the collection of evidence, like picking by using some forceps, tweezers, etc. Some evidence needs to be lifted with the help of tapes like fingerprints, hair, some dust, etc. If some dried fluid is present they need it to be scrapped out using scrappers. In case of some dust or powder particles are present, they are vacuum swept. Identification is essential for the investigators to identify the evidence that is present at the crime scene. They need to find using various tools and techniques like fingerprints, footprints, blood splatters, some glass pieces from windows or any crockery, bullets, cartridge, knives or any sharp objects, or any fluids, in short, they have to find evidence in any sort of thing that will arise suspicion. Preservation After collecting, the evidence needs to be well preserved while sent to the laboratories for further examination to avoid contamination. For that purpose, some evidence is preserved in paper containers such as paper bags and paper envelopes so that they do not get degraded by the time it will reach the laboratories. Some are preserved in sterile glass vials like blood evidence and body fluids, while evidence like guns, knives, and sharp and large objects are preserved in cardboard boxes. Examination all the evidence is sent to the laboratories where different departments are present and the evidence is distributed. In each department, there are experts present who examine the evidence with the help of different equipment such as GCMS, chromatography, spectrophotometer, microscopes, chemical tests, and many more. After examination, the experts will provide a report based on their analysis depending upon which justice is being provided to an individual. Ways keep in mind that based on your reports one will be declared innocent or charged as a criminal. So always do your job sincerely, unbiased. Divisions Although there are many divisions of forensic science, here we will discuss some of them. Forensic Biology and Serology It is a division in which the experts examine the biological evidence such as body fluids, tissues, DNA, etc. Forensic Pathology In unnatural death cases, the experts examine the signs and determine whether it is a homicide or suicide. Also, they tell us about the reason for the death like poisoning, 
strangulation, stabbing, bullet injuries, etc. Forensic Anthropology and Odontology When the investigators found any skeleton, they are examined by forensic anthropologists. They give information about the gender of the skeleton, reconstruct the face if possible, and help in the identification of the victim. Teeth also help in the personal identification of skeleton or from bite marks. Forensic Ballistics and Explosives They examine the bullet injuries, different bullets, cartridges, revolvers, pistols, and rifles which are used in crime. Also, they analyze the explosives that are being retrieved from any crime scene or from any terrorists. Handwriting and Question Document Analysis In the case of forgery of checks, legal papers, wills, etc. The handwriting and signatures of the documents are examined by the experts by comparing them with the original ones. Forensic Toxicology In case of death by poisoning, the toxicologists examine the liver fluids to identify the poison due to which the person died. Also, they examine the level and presence of alcohol and drug present in the dead body. Forensic Fingerprint Analysis Fingerprints are unique in nature and in most crimes fingerprints are found at the crime scene. So, they are compared with the fingerprints of suspects to find out the culprit. Sometimes, fingerprints can also tell us about the gender of the person whose fingerprint has been found. Cyber Forensics In the digital world, nowadays many crimes are happening online. Like hacking, online frauds, capturing someone's video or audio by hacking the mic or camera and then blackmailing them for money and many more. They are examined by cyber forensic experts. Forensic Nanotechnology Nanotechnology is a new stream which works on nanoparticles. Forensic nanotechnology deals with the better working of the equipment, new tools and techniques to examine the evidence more accurately and quickly. Also, it deals with the analysis of nano evidence that is present at a crime scene. Why should one choose forensic science? If nothing bothers you more than injustice and you enjoy topics like chemistry, biology, and physics, a degree in forensic science may be a match made in heaven for you. As a future forensic specialist, you'll work in crime laboratories, evaluate vital evidence, and make the lives of police detectives much simpler. Yes, especially if you have a strong sense of justice, a scientific mind, and a desire to assist law enforcement in creating a more balanced society. You will also get the opportunity to work on fascinating cases and evaluate various sorts of evidence. You'll feel fantastic knowing that you're helping to apprehend dangerous offenders and solve complex cases. Consider a career in forensic science if you are naturally interested and want to deliver the best precise findings. You won't regret it. Future The field of forensic science is extensive. You can find work in a variety of government and private industries. The study will improve your skills and knowledge. After completing your degree, you can open your own forensic practice and forensic service offices. You also may employ in forensic laboratories, detective offices, banks and other government and private agencies or become a researcher or a professor. A trained forensic scientist may hire by the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, and Intelligence Bureau, IB. There are endless opportunities in this field as unlimited crimes in the world are happening. As a result, work prospects in the field of forensic science are virtually limitless. You can get work anywhere in India or abroad. Universities There are many universities present in India which offer forensic science courses. Here we have listed some of the universities. They are Institute of Forensic Science in Mumbai Usmania University in Hyderabad, 
नेशनल फोरेंसिक साइंस यूनिवर्सिटी इन गुजरात राष्ट्रीय रक्षा यूनिवर्सिटी इन गुजरात लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी इन पंजाब सेज यूनिवर्सिटी इन गुजरात एनामिटी यूनिवर्सिटी इन डिफरेंट सिटीज ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ द ब्रांचेस ऑफ एमिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफर फोरेंसिक साइंस कोर्सेज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज देर आर मेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज प्रेजेंट इन इंडिया विच ऑफर ग्रेजुएशन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन डिप्लोमा and phd courses in forensic science courses and you can easily enroll in them that's all for today hope you found your video interesting and full of knowledge in sum the university's admission procedures are going on full details of these universities courses offered with fees and eligibility are described in other videos on our channel do watch them know in detail After your 12th board exams if you are confused about which stream you should pursue for your future then do join our student career development from our official website If you are already studying forensic science to open new opportunities in the future and to get many other facilities do join the volunteer program in our first Indian forensic science student organization applied forensic research sciences Thank you for watching till the end Do subscribe to the channel and if you have any queries comment below Let's meet at another video